Hey, this is Nick the Mining Book Guy, finally getting back into some book ideas. I'll have a few more coming your way after this one. This um, book, though, has a cool story. So this is The Traders Inside Canada's Stock Markets by Alexander Ross. It's funny because I can't even remember how I discovered this book, but I know I got it very cheaply and I was very surprised by the content. Um, and a funny side story is that I read it for the second time recently because I saw that Tommy Humphreys, the founder of CEO.ca, you know, raided an old uh, bookshop in Canada and took a picture and posted it um, on the site. And of all the books, I was like, oh, you know, this, this was one I need to read again. And I'm glad I did because it's just such an unusual book that brings together Canadian history uh, a little bit of mining history, but generally more Canadian finance, especially focused more in the 70s and 80s, as the book was written in the mid-80s, but it even goes back further than that. And I don't want to share all the details, but I will say it's comparable to the money game. I will have a link to that because I made a video earlier. I'm actually a little disappointed that so few people have reached out to me saying they've read the money game. So that's a must read for more the U.S. side of finance, especially more stock markets in the 60s. But this is a must read for Canada. And I'll just give you a few examples of great stories uh, because Al Alexander Ross is a great writer and he just ties together so many things. So it's almost like poetic the way he writes about capitalism and, and you know, makes, makes you get warm and fuzzies if you're, if you're into business and knowing the changes that went through Canada going from the 70s into the 80s. But one good, great example, number one example, is, is the history of Al Freeberg, who uh, was originally from Europe, but then partially grew up in Uruguay. And I believe even today he runs a commodity hedge fund. I've never seen that info in any other book. That is a must read. It's only a chapter, but I thought that was fascinating. You could even look up Al Freeberg. I think that um, that in itself was worth the book. Number two though, I love the history of Montreal, and I think especially Americans have no idea that from um, the first decade of the 1900s, Montreal was the fastest growing city in the whole Americas. I had no idea, and you, you really get an idea of how the center of Canadian commerce went from Montreal to Toronto, and then how Vancouver kind of started to catch up later on. So you see the three main financial centers, and that's also related to mining. There's a great chapter on Hemlo, and even though I there's a great book on Hemlo, I'll have a link to that below because I've made a video before. Uh, this is a great introduction, so this this book can be a gateway to a lot of different things. There's a section on Morton Schulman, who I'd never heard of, and supposedly was one of the most successful you know individual investors in the 70s and 80s. I bought a bunch of books about him. Uh, I haven't read those in full yet, but that's just an interesting side note in Canadian history. And uh, he even created some gold fund uh, back in the 80s. So, uh, you know, that's just another interesting thing. And I guess finally, you get all of the Canadian investment house history. I think the histories are more thorough than any book I've read uh, on the American side of things. There just doesn't exist. So, you know, kudos to Alexander Ross for putting this all together. I don't know how well he is known in Canada. But this is a must read for Canadians interested in business and definitely Americans like me wanting to know more about Canadian history. It's a must read. So make sure you pick up The Traders if you can. I think you can find it pretty cheaply still. Um, it's, it's about a lot more than what the title, title implies. So highly, highly recommended as an unusual book. This is Nick the Mining Book Guy. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.